Certificate of Entitlement COE premiums reached new highs for the two car categories in the open category at the latest tender exercise on Wednesday. The COE premium for larger cars with engines above 1. 600 cubic centimeters, 130 brake horsepower, and electric vehicles EVs above 110 kilowatts ended at $150,001, a 2.74% increase over the $146,002 posted in the previous tender. The premium for the open category, which can be used for any vehicle type except motorcycles but ends up being used mostly for bigger cars, ended at $158,004, up 3.95% over the $152,000 record set two weeks ago. This is the sixth consecutive time that records were broken for both the large car and open COE categories. The COE premium for smaller cars and EVs climbed 1.92% to $106,000, from $104,000 set two weeks ago. The previous record of $105,000 was set just two tender exercises ago. In September, some motor traders said the demand for smaller car COEs was partly fueled by the Car Expo event held last weekend. Organized by SPH Media, which publishes The Straits Times, the event had a stronger focus on smaller and less powerful car models than other types of new cars. By the end of the tender exercise on Wednesday, there were 1,028 bids for such COEs. This is only the second time since October 2021 that the number of bids for a COE category broke into four digits. The motorcycle COE premium rose 3.18% to end at $11. 201 from $10,856. The commercial vehicle COE premium ended at $84,790, 1.29% below the $85,900 from two weeks ago. This is the only COE category that did not see an increase in price. This is the last tender exercise before the next three-month quarter period from November to January, when the COE supply will increase by 12.9%. However, none of the motor dealers ST contacted believes that the increased quota for the next three months will be able to bring down COE premiums significantly. Ms. Sabrina SNG Managing Director, in charge of EV brand Polestar and Sports Carmica Lotus at multi-franchise motor group Werns Automotive, said the COE supply is still too limited to address demand. An average of 828 COEs for smaller cars and EVs will be available at each tender exercise for the next three months. This is nearly 14.6% below the average of 969 such COEs for the same period in 2021. The premium for smaller car COEs then was between $35,990 and $43,501. Komoko Motors Commercial Director, Mr. Ng Chun Wee, expects the COE supply beyond January 2024 to remain relatively low. Based on the number of vehicle deregistrations expected over the next few months, the average scrapping rate in the previous four quarters is the main determinant of the upcoming COE supply. Mr. Ng believes that premiums will come down only towards the end of 2024, when the COE quota increases significantly. BMW Eurocars Autos Managing Director, Mr. Jason Lim, said the Singapore Motors Hall happening in January and the Chinese New Year in February would continue to fuel demand for COEs in the new year. In the immediate term, Mr. Ron Lim, head of sales Nissan agent Tan Chung Motor, said the three-week gap to the first tender exercise in November, which is one more week than the two-week norm, will give dealers more time to collect orders. This would make it unlikely for COE prices to fall. He also expects buyers 
to continue snapping up costs till the end of 2023 before rebates offered under the Vehicular Emission Scheme VS are reduced next year. Car models that are banded A2 under the scheme currently get a $15,000 rebate. This incentive will be reduced to $5,000 in the new year. A lot also hinges on the number of VS2 stock in the market. Be it customers snapping them up for fear of the $10,000 reduction in incentives or dealers wanting to pare down their inventory, any drop in COE premium might be minimal, Mr. Lim said.